So, Maxi, thanks for joining us again uh, on Highland Radio Sport as we look forward to uh, the All Ireland Senior Football Championship, which starts for, for you this weekend. Just thinking before we started the interview, Maxi, um, you said a big one against Galway, of course, in the league. Is there anything at all you can take out of that match, or is that one getting buried now at this stage and it's going to be a different challenge at the weekend? Yeah, look, it's completely buried um, for us anyway. You know, we um, were practically at, at full throttle that day, and um, Galway were very short. You know, we've seen the team that they <clears throat> sent out in the last Friday night against Kerry in the first round. So, um, you know, the team bore very little resemblance to what uh, we put a played against. So, look, you would have to think that they probably learned more about us than we would have learned about them on the day uh, in the league match. And uh, I suppose they definitely have a lot more room for improvement than maybe we would have had. So, but look, it's, uh, it's still a great uh, source of confidence for our girls, knowing you know that they that they went down to Galway and you know played them in their own backyard. Tumen performed really well against them. So I'd say, look, it's one of those things people can, you know, some people would say you're you're better in Galway's position having the you know having your powder dry almost, or you know others will say it's great for Donegal to have that confidence. So look, it's. It's, I suppose it's all um, personal opinion, really. Yeah. Listen, so, Max, you had a strong enough league campaign and you had a good performance as well in the Ulster Championship to book your place uh, back in the final, having missed the competition last year. Has that been good enough prep in your eyes for, for the start of the All-Ireland Series? Yeah, look, it was, it, was, it was a very good run against Cavan because we had a we had a similarly slow start against Cavan that we had against Cork the previous week in the in the league semi final, which was very disappointing and something we, we I suppose we had a chance to sit down and talk about it. Was it wasn't a, a coincidence that the two games started in the same way. So it was something we had to talk about and we had to maybe um, work on and training about how we do start the games and look even revisit your warm up and your pre match routine to see if there's something in that that you can do better and sharpen up on and so look we would have made a couple of changes from that regard. But yeah, look the, the score against Cavan was very pleasing. You know, we think we scored six sixteen, um, which is very pleasing with a lot of players get on the on the scoreboard and kick some really good scores. And uh, look, quite at the same time, we're probably you know slightly disappointed we conceded two seventeen. And again, that was something that we probably went away and had a wee look at um, this last couple of weeks and seeing if we could you know tighten up at the back. But look, it's a it's it's a big score to concede, but it's also a big score to score. So if you ask me, what I Rather score six sixteen um, and uh, and and have a high concession rate or score ten or twelve points and be measured at the back. I would probably go for the for the high scoring. So um, it's a look. It was a very worthwhile uh, run out. Of. I suppose the big disappointment is that the competition wasn't finished. You know, there was there was a window to play it out, and uh, I think that would have been you know made for a far better Ulster Championship. Now we have to sit and wait, and you know, and coincidentally, if the ball bounces in such a way, you could end up playing Armagh in an All-Ireland quarter-final, and then two weeks later playing an Ulster final, so, you know, nobody yeah. really likes that kind of a situation, but look, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. What about um, the squad? Are you fully fit, Max, ahead of this game? Because it's, it's vitally important, isn't it, that you get off to a winning start, isn't it? Well, you've got two games there, so it is, but you want to go through those two matches in a winning manner, don't you? Yeah, very much so. And, you know, we've, we've went into good habit and that's something we've done a lot, as I say, by the court game. You know, we've won every game we've played this year so far and that's a, uh, that's something we haven't done in the previous three years of my time here. Um, but, uh, oh, look, we have, uh, we've, uh, we've, uh, we have a clean bill of health at the minute, um, a couple of wee niggles, and we will we'll train again now before before Saturday, and you know we'll just hope that, that everybody gets through. But, look, it's, it's, it's a squad game nowadays, and... Uh, if ever there was a season that it's a depending on a squad you know the, the COVID thing has changed a lot of things for a lot of people in terms of how they prepare and the length of a pre-season and you know you'll very rarely I think find a team anywhere in Ireland at the minute that gets to a game with a clean bill of health and has everybody so it's everybody's losing an odd player here and there so look, we, we can't complain if we uh, if we're the same but look at the minute we're hoping we'll have everybody. Do you have the strongest squad available to you in years uh, ahead of the, the start of the All-Ireland Series Maxi? I do believe we have, yeah. Um, you know, we probably have a, a younger squad than we've ever had. Um, if you look at average ages, um, and you know, I, I think we have brought in some really good girls, some really good characters that have kind of revitalised the other girls, have kind of freshened the thing up. You know, the likes of Sean McFadden there from St. Eunice has been a breath of fresh air. Um, you know, and they've just, you know, Susie White, I know she was in at the end of last year. You know, girls like that have been really, really good about the place. Ross Jim Rogers has grown with every game. And, you know, just that bit of youthful exuberance has, has definitely lifted, uh, has lifted the older girls. You know, you still are dependent very heavily on the, on the, 
on the on the on the plus thirties we call them. Um, you know your Cairns and your Neve Hegarty's, and you know these guys are playing the, the football of their life. To be fair to them, um, but I just think that the dynamic is is very good. You know, I've I have said it before, and I've said it to the girls that you know we may not have the best thirty footballers in Donegal, but I feel we have the we have the the best squad that we could have. You know, with, um, being a talented footballer nowadays doesn't be enough. You know, it doesn't make you a good teammate. It doesn't make your you know allow you to improve the squad that you're part of and I think maybe we were guilty of that in the past where we had maybe all the talented players but we did maybe just didn't tick enough of the other boxes and uh, I think now we, we, we definitely are ticking more boxes than we've ever ticked before. Now that doesn't mean there's any correlation to success or translate to success in the field but look, there's a real feel good feel good factor about the group at the minute and I say that's you know borne out the fact that we've only lost one game we played and we feel very sore about that game that we did lose against Cork. You know we felt it was a game that we definitely um, behind us and we take full responsibility for losing that ourselves so um you know i don't think Donegal of has ever been in as healthy a position where we're you know, we feel we are right and truly knocking on the door and you know a match for anybody in the country whether that be dublin cork or whoever so um you know from that perspective yeah i think that the, the squad we have is, is is very good and you know we we go into the to the all Ireland series you know full of confidence and, and and belief based on what we've done not but in other years where it may have been potential and reputation, you know, this year we have actually, you know, maybe we've, you know, we've walked the walk as opposed to talk the talk. But look, that all counts for nothing when the ball's thrown in against Galway on Saturday. But it's a, it's a good way to get into the game at the same time. Okay. Actually, thanks for talking to us. The best of luck against Galway. Thanks, Austin. Thank you.